Hi everyone. So in this video, we will try to understand the difference between small O object or capital O object. Okay. This is small O object. So this capital O object is seen is whatever. This is actually the interface in TypeScript. If you see, this interface object const object is object constructor provide functionality common to all JavaScript object. And we also have this object function in JavaScript which is a root function, which is giving the common functionality, right? Object.keys, object.freeze, object.assign, object.create, object.define property, define properties, all these methods, right? But why, how you are able to assign some string or literal variables to the type object? So this is being treated like X, I will put Y, and if I'm assigning that too, that is fine because, uh, What just happened? Okay, why I already have so I will just put x1 here. You can define true or you can define an object. Everything will work here for type capital object. If you can assign any uh, string literal or any any primitives to this x3, it can be it can be like a new object. So try to understand the difference here. This can be assigned with anything. It can be a, a number, string, array, object, new date function, new class, or object.create, anything. It will accept it. Even if you do that create, uh, it will accept this. Okay, but what about the small o object? What it is saying, okay. So if I try to assign a literal, then it is not accepting because this is not a type object. This is a TypeScript object. So you must assign a valid object to it. You cannot play around with uh, same as like capital object. So here you can only assign the, the capital object. Like it can have only new date kind of functionality because it is giving you the object or if I talk about capital object dot create, it is also giving us the new object, so it will accept it. Right. So it can accept an array, which is also of type an object. New some class new hello or some function i'm just calling the constructor of it right so this is actually the the major difference which we see that uh, both are not seen other than that we also have the type null and undefined so you have seen that uh, the discussions around it in javascript that what is null what is undefined type of null is not equal to type of undefined Sorry. Right. So similarly, these two types also exist in TypeScript. And whenever we are declaring any variables like v1 uh, of type, we can also define the type as null or type as undefined, type as string. Okay. This is acceptable. So explicitly, you can define the type as a null, type uh, as undefined. Okay. So in this video, we just talked about small object and capital object. In the next video, we will talk more about uh, uh, the defining types uh, in TypeScript.